will evaporate. It's sort of like Columbus wasn't the only person who thought the world was round. There were maps for Christ's sake. He had one. He was following it. But most of the world thought the most of people thought the world was flat. Until there were experiments and there were there were exhibitions and there were expeditions that came back alive and just blew holes in the fact that the earth was flat. That's the same kind of thing that will be happening right here during that sixth day. But it is not going to be an instant thing. It's not like you can just go in and punch into the fourth and fifth dimension, you know. It's not like that. It's a process. Another question? Well, the reason there's so many books out there about this is because, folks, this is a migration. Think of yourself as a big bull elk or something, you know? And it's time to go eat grass down in the valley. And we're all going that way. That's what's happening to consciousness. It's all moving, moving toward more and more possibility. Moving toward more and more personal responsibility. Moving more and more and more to ethical and integral styles. during the Inquisition. A lot of feminine power was removed by killing some four million women for being witches. And your intuition was turned on. But as a matter of fact, you know what a gyroscope is? Like that, right? It's a, a gyroscope that has got a Thing like that. And here, this is a centering. That's a center, like the axle. You know, peace of mind, peace of mind, only comes when a person is centered. Is that right? Think about your own experience. When you were personally centered, you had peace of mind. Have you ever had peace of mind when you weren't centered? I doubt it. Centeredness is a pre prerequisite for having peace of mind. So how do you get centered? With certainty. When you're certain about something, then you're centered. If you're uncertain about something, then you're upset and not centered, right? So how does one get certainty? There's only one source, the recognition of patterns. When you recognize the pattern, now you're certain that it's going to happen again or it will work this way. You learn to drive that way. When you first got behind the wheel, you didn't have peace of mind. You weren't centered. You weren't certain because you didn't know the patterns. Now you know the patterns of traffic and the habits, which are also patterns of stupid drivers. <laughs> so you can have more peace of mind behind the wheel. Now, this gyroscope has a center. But a gyroscope works on the principle of the more motion around that center, the more stable it is. Hmm. So as creation presents more and more change 
all around you if you are stable, if you are centered, you're going to become more and more stable rather than more and more out of control. Does that make sense? So the more you recognize the pattern of creation and the pattern of all these changes just from tonight's talk, I mean, okay, now, we're almost to this stage right now. So let's say in December, just after the elections, or actually it's going to be during the elections and all the accusations and all the truth being splattered on each other. But then after that, all this torrent of truth starts coming out about things you wished you weren't hearing. You're going to remember this talk. And you're going to go, my God, this really is happening. I'm recognizing this pattern right now. And you know what? You'll have more peace of mind. Because this will already be starting to work. And the faster and the faster things change around you, the more stable you will get. The more empowered you will be to help others. And that's the real purpose for all this information. All those things that get spun off real fast. <laughs> yeah. So you know what? I want to thank you all very much for coming. Next, I want to uh, make a, a request, and that is that if you found some value or some validity in your own experience to what we were talking about, please help us spread this information. This information is not going to do this little group of people any good whatsoever. As we watch everyone else go just off their nut. It won't be any fun at all. But if there's any way that you can contact someone who has some admired opinion and make a connection to, so that we can get to these people and get down to even more brassy tacks than we went over tonight, prove this scientifically. The more people we can get this to over the airwaves, over television, through movies, through other books, the faster we can get it out, the better for everyone. I've been doing this for two years, and Madeline's been with me for the last year. And we've been doing this and enjoying this very much. But we can see that the pace at which things are changing is not exactly the pace that we're in reaching people. And it's going to take you guys helping us out. Help yourself out. And the books are right back here. I mean, you want some more proof? We've got it all. It's all written down. You have to read it, but it's all there. This is, this is not some scheme other than on the part of God. <laughs> uh, you know, please, avail yourself of the information please, and then turn somebody else onto it. The tapes that we're making tonight will be for sale in another couple of weeks. We request that if you buy a tape, you show it to a group of people, you ask those people who in the group would show it to others, and you make them a copy and you give it to them. Tapes will be ready in about a month. A month. Yeah, two weeks to a but month. Keep, keep checking the website, because as soon as they're complete, they will be up on the website for purchase. And once you, like I said, once you buy one, have it copied as many times as it'll copy. Okay? How much are these books? The books, 25 bucks. $25. They're $24.95 at uh, Amazon.com. We charge you five cents for delivery. 
Yeah. Uh, I've been on the Art Bell Show. Yeah. And I'm emailing people all the time. But you understand, I mean, you guys understand, how many talks could you go to this month? Oh my God. Just here, you know? Imagine being Art Bell. He's got to stack this high of emails and faxes of please listen to my message. And every one of these guys, this of any value at all, is in a blizzard of messages. There's only one way this will get through. And that's by enough people talking about it. Are there for sale tonight? We'll wrap one for you. Are you asking for a donation tonight? No, there's no donation. Why not? Uh, you guys already paid attention. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs>